In this video, I'm gonna be talking about inspiration, where I get it from, and also giving you some tips on how to stay inspired. So grab a notepad and let's chat. We've all been there before, scrolling through Pinterest, hoping that something kickstarts our inspiration, or maybe staring at a project brief for 30 minutes, hoping that an idea pops into our head. Inspiration is a crucial part of our creativity. It's the fuel that puts pen to paper and cursor to artboard. We don't always have control over our inspiration, but there are things we can do to create a better environment for it. I have this concept called the inspiration triangle, and it's three parts that I think are the driving force behind feeling inspired. The triangle looks like this. We have the why we do it, that's our motivator, that's our purpose, that's our reason why we do things. We have what we're doing, that's the specific project, that's the content, that's the look, and that's the feel. And then we have how we're doing it, and that's our roadmap, that's our technical skills, that's how we're gonna achieve the what and the why. And I think the roadblocks start to form in our inspiration when this triangle gets out of shape. For example, on social media like Instagram, I've seen people create stuff where they know what they're doing and how they're doing it, but they leave out the reason why they're doing it. That means that their content lacks meaning, it lacks purpose, and sometimes it gives them the reason not to carry on creating. Or I've seen creatives know the why they're doing it and what they're doing, but they don't know how to do it, and they get paralyzed in this place where they can't move forward. At the start of every creative project, think about this triangle. Before you start conceptualizing ideas, think about the why, the what, and the how. This will help set the best environment for you to feel inspired. I'm gonna show you some ways that I stay inspired, and you'll notice that this all loops back to that inspiration triangle. Now in no particular order, number one is social media. I use Instagram and Pinterest mainly. There's a great group of creative people on there. You can dive straight into the community and really get a good understanding of great visuals, great ideas, great concepts. And it just helps to have a group of creatives around you, especially when we can't be together physically. It's nice to be able to have a sense of community and to have people that encourage you and push you in your creative journey. Instagram and Pinterest are particularly good at the what and the how parts of the triangle. I personally prefer Pinterest because it's just got more options to browse and to save new ideas. The second thing is this, nature. Getting outside to a different environment that's not your desk and your laptop is really, really critical in thinking differently. Nature is a great way to feel inspired in the why and the how. Looking at your surroundings, being able to see how things work and why things work is a really great way for you to apply that same thinking to your work. Individual experiences are sometimes far better than learning from someone online. So go outside, spend time in nature, and understand how the wider world works. Number three is history. I love going to museums, to antique and thrift stores, and just looking at what people used to do. It's a great insight into seeing how trends have developed over the years, but also what stayed the same. This helps when thinking about the how part of the creative triangle, because chances are, if a creative idea worked back then, then it could work today. And the fourth thing is this, my faith. This is the biggest driving force into the reason why I do things. It helps me to align everything that I do to make sure it always goes back to sharing my faith. Let me really encourage you to think about the why in your life. Why do you create? What's your mission? What can you do that no one else can? The more you understand why you do things, the easier it becomes to actually do them. So those are the ways I stay inspired, from social media to looking back to the past. It's all about learning new things and understanding more. If you had to take away one thing from this video, it's the inspiration triangle. For every project you have coming up, think about the why, the what, and the how, and watch how much easier it is for inspiration to flow. If you've enjoyed this video, why not leave a like? It really does go a long way to helping this channel. And also think about subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. Let me know in the comments what you do to stay inspired, and I'll see you again soon.